Hi, Assalamualaikum and good day to my beloved lecturer Dr. Rizaldin. So, we are from group 17, want to present to you our PBL project. So, first, I would like to introduce to you my fellow friends. First one is Nur Hidayah binti Mak Hashim. Uh, then, it's me, Muhammad Amirul Shafikri bin Mazlan. And this is uh, Cheng Jiayan. This is Alif Haikal bin Azizan and the last one is Adrian. So, next I will give this presentation to my friends. Good day to everyone. Uh, my name is Cheng Jiayan and I will present about the introductions and objectives in our project. So, firstly, introductions. Cell is defined as uh, oxidation in fragile, stress, particle displacement, particle velocity, and etc. And it will propagate in a medium with internal force or superposition of such propagated oxidations. S next, uh, sound signal. A uh, sound signal is a representation of sound and typically using either a level of electrical voltage for analog signal or a series of binary number for digital signal. In this project, we choose a title as Human Voice to conduct the sound analysis. Uh, due to the fairness, we will use different human voice, but same song to analyze the time domain and frequency domain. Next, objective. The objectives in this research is to evaluate the time domain and frequency domain of variant sound source and to compare and understand the differences between different human voice with same sound. Uh, that's all from me and thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Alif Haikal bin Azizan and today I want to talk about the literature review that our group decided to make which is based on a study carried out by a group of students from the College of Biosystem Engineering and Food Science, Zhenjiang University, Hangzhou. So this group of students carried out a study on the acoustic biology by using an audio generator system. So their study is aiming to test the hypothesis of a sound wave that could have effect the propagation of growth of plants by catalyzing the hearing sense organs. They develop an audio generator system experimentally to investigate the effect of sound wave on the propagation growth. DDFS or Direct Digital Frequency Synthesis Method is used to produce various type of waveforms with the help of an embedded development platform based on ARMS, DSP, and FPGA. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Hidayah binti Mat Hashim, and I will explain about methodology of this project. This is our project Outflow, and this is flowchart of this project. First of all, we need to identify project, then search about background of the project, brainstorm, and this is step by step to change the audio signal to a farm, and we complete the report after that we are doing the presentation. And this one is step to process the audio signal change to a farm. First of all, we need to record three different audio by using the recorder. After that, we are convert the audio by using audio city software from city audio file to mono file. Lastly, we are create a complete coding by using MATLAB software. After we are create a complete coding, we need to click the run button and the graph of time domain and frequency domain will be appear. The graph will be shown at result part. Thank you. Hello, my name is Eden and I will be explaining about the result part in our project. So we using the MATLAB software um, in order to make the audio signal change into a waveform and then interpret it into the uh, time domain signal and frequency domain signal. So for this part of the MATLAB code, uh, 
I'm using this for the um, temp domain temp domain part and then for the another this part of the map that code I'm using this for the frequency domain curve and then the result that I already get is like this this is for the temp domain for the three different audio signal and then for the right is the frequency frequency domain for the three audio signal Okay, now I will be explaining about the discussion part in our project. So for this one, we have a wide variety of frequency range like bass, mid range and upper mid range. So when we analyze our sound, we can know the highest and lowest amplitude in 10 domain and then the highest amplitude in the frequency domain. So for the first audio, we find out the highest amplitude is in the range of the uh, brilliance. So for the second and the third audio, we find out the highest amplitude is in the range of the um, upper mid range frequency range. So this is for the data. Okay, for the error, when we record our voice using the smartphone, the microphone can uh, collect a lot of noise like in this picture so the noise can come from the surrounding area or electronic interference some of the uh, manufacturer manufacture of the smartphone using their reference microphone to collect the noise profile data then the noise profile data will be used in the um, noise cancelling processing so for the post processing we can use like this nice reduction filter in Auto City, but this will be degraded to sound quality. So next, I will present to you our conclusion of this project. So conclusion of the our project is first, we reach an understanding how the SP works and how the result being delivered. We also be known that the audios can be categorized into seven different range of sound frequency. We also managed to analyze a noise from the surrounding which is identified as error and ways to overcome it. So it is advisable to get a noise free surrounding so that it will help to get more accurate result. The sound quality also can be maintained by not removing a lot of noise from the actual recording as this will, will degrade the recording itself therefore the best option is to reduce noise from the surrounding thank you